go. Hey YouTube, it's Shadow. So I'm just doing my first tutorial. So I hope it's not complicated. I'm gonna try and keep it pretty short. Um, first time I've ever made a YouTube video. Um, so hopefully this goes well. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It is a bow with uh, like a bracelet. It's like a bow bracelet. Although it's gonna look a little bit more like this because I'm gonna use fishing line, which is this one. Um, it's a lot stronger. It's still flexible, but it will not look as sloppy as this one. I made this one a long time ago. So, for this tutorial, you're going to need a arm's length piece of cord, a fishing line. You can get it anywhere that sells um, any kind of fishing supplies, and it looks like this. Um, you're also going to need super glue, nail glue, or clear nail polish for your knots. Um, just keeps it some more stable. Um, some scissors, and a sharpie. Cause this will make your life easier if you're new to candy. So you're going to take your string, you're going to put both ends together, and you're going to put on... Oh, I'm sorry guys. You need um, 20 of any out whatever outside color you want, which would be the green on this one, and 7 of the inside color. So once you have those, you're going to want to put on 2 of your outside color and let them fall down to the center. And then you're going to want to put on 1 of your middle beads, like your inside beads. So you put one of those on, and you pull it down nice and tight, and it'll look like this. So you just have this little, like, half-person looking thing. Um, then you're going to separate your strings again. And you are going to put... Just pick one of your strings, doesn't matter which one. I usually do my right one, just because I'm right-handed. And you're going to just mark the tip of it with whatever color sharpie you have. Um, this will signify your top string. It's going to make your life easier, I promise. So take your top string, and then the one that's blank will be your bottom string. So you are going to want to put an inside color on your top string, and an outside color on your bottom string. Pull your two strings together, and put on an outside bead. Strings apart again. Um, one inside color on your top string, an outside color on your bottom string, string these back together, one outside bead down the center, then you're going to want to pull everything down, I want to make sure it, it's all the way it should be, I'm just going to straighten this out and show you guys what it looks like, so it looks something like this, um, here's the first half and then the, the middle of the bow, so you're going to do the exact same thing on this side, on this side. So go back to separating our strings and we're going to put a sorry an inside color on your top string outside color on your bottom string I really thought that was a spider strings together and you're going to put on an inside bead and then strings apart and you're going to put on one of each, I mean sorry, one outside color on each string. And then you're just going to let that fall again and you're going to want to make sure all the beads aren't like sticking out or anything, just kind of straighten it so it's nice and tight, it looks like that. It's really kind of weird. Um, then you're going to want to tie it off. Sorry, my neighbors next door are kind of loud. Uh, so tie it off, and then you're going to want to take your glue or nail polish, whatever you choose to use, and just put a tiny oops, there it goes, drop on your knot. Um, it's worth it. It keeps it together. Then you're going to want to just pick one of your strings, doesn't matter which one, and you're going to start on the part that has the three white beads that are kind of like sticking up. And you're going to go through this end blue bead with, again, whichever string you choose. And you're going to string on one of your inside bead. Now, this, you should only have two left while you're putting this one on. And you'll have one left after this. So you've got that one on. And then you're going to put an outside bead. And go through your center. And then another outside bead. Go through right there. This is where you're going to use your last 
inside weed. Now remember as you're doing this you want to pull it kind of tight. Um, sometimes fishing line gets stuck and it makes it kind of crooked. We don't want that. So put on your last inside bead and go through this very last blue bead right here. Okay. So now you're going to want to leave that string alone and come back to where we started over here and take your other string and go through bead right here. So you should be above this white or sorry, whatever inside color you're using. Uh, put on outside color, go through the next bead that's sticking up, and pull that so it fits right into place. And then here's where we get to the little bit complicated part of... Fucking dog. Really? Fucking dog. Sorry guys, our dog is... Insane, just pulled the desk lamp that I'm trying to use to, for light so you guys can see this. Yeah. Anyways, um, so you're going to go through the next three beads. So you're going to take your cord and you're going to string through here, here, and here. So down through one of them. You're going to go up through this second one. Make sure it doesn't get hooked on anything. And then down through this third one. And then so that you can fill in the next bead, you're going to need to go up one more bead right here and you'll be in the same spot that you were on the other side and right there you're going to put in an outside bead oh gosh sorry guys thing got complicated there okay so you're gonna put it through the end and your strings are now on the same side okay so again pull tight now we're gonna go back to the string we were previously using and we are going to oh gosh what was I gonna do oh yeah I'm sorry Put on one outside color, go through this inside bead, and it just kind of loops it on, it'll stack itself so you have three, and then you're going to put on another outside bead. Now here we don't have to thread through anything because you have to add the top of this center part. So you put on another one, and go through. And another one, and go through this bead. Oops. Now this might be a little bit complicated for some of you that don't, haven't done really any candy before. Um, and you're going to put on one bead, and this is just how I've always done it. And you're going to take your string, let the bead fall, and go through this bead right here. And pull that through. And then you're going to go down through this white bead. Oh gosh, what did I do? Fuck. Hmm? Sorry guys, we're having uh... My cord's being complicated. Yeah, we're having some technical difficulties. So, I'm a... Uh, I'm Storm Stomper. I'm, a, I'm her boyfriend. I look to... I like to fuck with my voice a little bit, you know. I like to, I like to just mix it up a little bit, you know. Even though my accents are terrible, so uh, yeah. So while she's getting that fixed, got it. You Sorry got, like, guys. Fixed? Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> stop talking and turn it back over to her. My cord got all tangled, and I didn't want to confuse you. So when she went down through this one, I lied. You're not gonna go through the white bead. You're just going to bring it back up and go down through this end blue bead, right? Just oops, just like that. Now it's going to make this strange little loop thing right here. I hope you guys can see that. And that's fine. Just That's what it's supposed to do. Um, then you're going to put on, you should have only two outside colors left. Put on one bead. And you're going to go through. And here's where we have to weave some more. So if you can remember, we have four beads to go through. So here, 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 and here. So down through that one. Up through this one down. I've been doing this for a while so I am a little bit faster at threading. You'll get the hang of it. It's really not that hard with fishing line. It makes it a lot easier. And then your last and final bead will go on right here. Just like that. Now how I tie it off is I take the cord that I was not just using and oops let me move the other one out of the way. Oh gosh okay. 
It's the one that I was not just using, I have in my hand right here. And I go through, you can see this, baby, you need a camera over here in the light. Um, through these two right here, closest to where it was. And then I go up through the center bead. Like that. This way it'll prevent um, it from curling too much and it also will make that same little funky loop thing. And then you're going to just tie it. I would suggest you double knot it and be careful because fishing line will cut into your fingers if you pull it too hard. Unless you're me. Because <laughs> I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. And then, you know, put on your little bit of glue. Just right on the knot. Just like that. And then snip off what you have left. Uh, you want it, usually want to do it pretty close to the knot um, so that you don't have like little strings hanging off or anything and it will look hopefully something like this. It's not too bad, it's a little bit crookedy. Um, like I said I haven't made them in a while and also these inner beads are a little bit smaller than the outside beads so that kind of throws it off slightly but it'll look like that. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make it into this. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, please comment, rape, uh, <laughs> comment, rate, rate. I do not endorse the other, no, no, no. So, comment, rate, and uh, subscribe, and uh, as always, have a nice day.